Welcome, Tarot Me Amore. Doing our morning quickies. I already have this laid out. I uh, had to stop and start, but this is for Leo. And we're looking at love and relationship. Hola, amigos. Having a little trouble with our lighting, so we'll show you these quickly. This is the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, just kind of reading. It's usually about uh, it, reciprocity in the relationships. He's got the scales. And now the fool is like how you're feeling coming into relationship and you're going for it, you know, um, and feeling good about it. So uh, you must be, I would think in the past, maybe, a, <coughs> excuse me, issues with reciprocity, maybe, you know, you, you loved them more than they loved you. You gave them more than they gave you or you felt like that happened. Um but here I think you're feeling good about this because now you're showing this is a really nice Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So you see how strong that is. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, we'll refer back to that. It's like you, you've examined your coins. Here he is like examining, weighing, right? And now you've decided to go ahead and give one of those coins to this relationship. And this is a solid energy, Leo. This is like... Uh, you're feeling real good about this, um, mm -hmm. and this this could even be like I want I moved in energy. Uh, we're getting real serious, uh, um, but then you have coming in here in the future the Temperance a Sag card. Um, so for you, this could be a little hard. Leos are not as impulsive, generally speaking, as mm -hmm. uh, Sag or Aries, um, but um, they're... Just what he was thinking. No, I do. I don't do. It's like, um, I don't know if I take the risk or the risk. Yeah, but with the, the fool, it kind of implies no. they did take the risk. I mean, ah, okay. that's what the fool does is just throw no, himself. take a big one, no? Like, uh, he yeah. go with everything to looking for. Could be. Yeah, it could be he took a risk. And it, I see the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles related, though. It's like you really considered... And with Six of Pentacles, you're carefully considering. That's considering, that's not just considering other people's emotions. That's considering, mm -hmm. uh, do they have enough money? Do they have uh, the right, can they give you the baby you want? Can they, you know, um, very, can be very practical. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so with the Ace of Pentacles, mm -hmm. it's like when you put down your Ace of Pentacles, it's not even like the Ace of Cups. It's a more solid consideration like a Virgo might do they're considering everything they're being logical and they're uh, when they take an action it's not impulsive it's uh, solid okay. um, and then with temperance though coming in um, I think there's gonna you're gonna be called upon to sort of uh, slow down a little bit and uh, spend a period of time kind of balancing things and bringing things into balance and being asked to have a little temperance, patience. And you see how fiery it is. Mm -hmm. um, so this is not so terrible because uh, you're probably going to be having fun while you do this. You know, it's just um, this may uh, take a little bit, like a slow burn, like um, it may take a little time to mature. And to get to where you want to go, this love. Mm -hmm. That's looking real solid. That again is an Ace of Pentacles. It's not in a hurry. Uh, you know, you said, but the last reading could be because of being hurt in the past. Why maybe you're weighing things so carefully. Um, and now you've thrown yourself into this and you have this solid commitment. And uh, you're going to be willing to take the time you know, to let it mature and become what you want it to be. Yeah. Okay, amigos, I hope you so like it. Yeah, let me know. You should say, share. Now we're <laughs> going to do the... We're going to do the Virgo. Your favorite. The... Uh, what does the universe say for wants Virgo? to say for Virgo? I think I get better at shuffling as much as I do it now. Okay. 
Virgo friends. We have the world. Nice start with Virgo. The Tree of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, wow. And the, I mean, the, no. the energy <laughs> of the deck is the Seven, Seven of, of Swords. Swords, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm not feeling so much like it would imply maybe you've been cheated on. Could be. Maybe strategic. Strategic thinking. No? Same yeah. like this one. So, um, you've done some, when strategic thinking, I mean, this could even be like therapy. This could be like really doing the shadow work because uh, it's kind of a Scorpio card to me. Anyway, um but with the world, it's implying like you're at a place where you're starting a new cycle. You know, the fool's journey's over. And in some way, you're starting a new cycle. Maybe this strategic thinking was because mm -hmm. everything's changed for you. And so, um, mm -hmm. Virgo, you have to now kind of rethink your place in the world, as you might could say. Mm -hmm. um, which See, is the whole someone point. someone cheating you. And this one, why you need to create a new, no? Yeah, a, a, a good, new world. If it's just about the relationship, that could be it. it mm -hmm. uh, in terms of relationships, you have to create a new strategy, a new mm -hmm. uh, way of dealing with it. Like you, if this was a cheating, then it would imply you really learned your lesson. So like you repeat and you mm -hmm. repeat and you repeat. And when you figure it out, that's when the world comes and you, then the next car will be the full and you start a new adventure, a new mm -hmm. cycle. But then with the three of wands here, this could be watching a tarot reading. This is like uh, you're looking around trying to take actions uh, now to um, you, because you're starting your new life, I think. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a classic card. This is like joining a dating site. This is looking for your okay, ships to come in. Waiting for a new opportunity. No? Waiting for a new... Well, they're, and also they're one, so they're mm -hmm. actions. So it's like you're doing something. Why well, say starting a dating site? You're mm -hmm. uh, going on uh, um, doing the... Mar what do they call it? The uh, marathon dating, the quickie dating and, or something, or singles club, or, mm -hmm. or taking some kind of action in terms of love and... Then when you got the wheel coming in here in this position, it, just keep doing it. It's going to succeed. So what mm -hmm. I see with this, with the major arcana, with the wheel, it's a karma and fate. And it usually, in this sense, it looks very positive. It's going to tell you got the world coming in. Uh, you're going to take an action, this three of wands, uh, that's going to turn the wheel in your favor. So... But the only the advice here is keep that in mind that you're you're at the place right now where you have a lot of control of your destiny, and I'm going to say it's like you really can't do wrong. You've considered things. You've got the got to be the world. The main thing is just to sort of like let yourself go, trust yourself, and know that your ship's coming in. <laughs> The for Wheel of Fortune here, this is, the Wheel of Fortune is your ship coming in. It's coming. It's like you don't even have to go out there and wait. You know it's coming. Just relax mm. and because you're so sure that it's coming. Okay. But, yeah, this is really positive. Mm -hmm. or, it's very good for me. Now we're going to do the Cookie Morning Sport. Scorpion. Libra. Uh, Libra. Oh, yeah. You got me. <laughs> Don't want to forget Libra. <laughs> Everyone has their signs, you know, their prejudice against, which is a terrible thing as an astrologer. It's exactly like being prejudiced, but kind of Libra is like, mm, Libra. <laughs> For me. Uh, well, yeah, you got the Libra, Mars, and Venus, so that's hard with the Sag, you know, because uh, Libra wants everything to be sweet. Romantic and nice, and you know how I am. <laughs> it's 
inside is a mess, and we're just like, whoa, whatever. But not, it's like sometimes we're not exactly uh, demure. Okay. Let's go to see what does the universe have to say. For they're here? Yeah. Can do it. For Libra. The hanging men. Okay. The two of cups and the queen of wands. And the energy of the reading is the seven of wands. Seven Again, of wands. Yeah. Seven of wands. Believers, yeah, you know, do generally, you know, we want to focus on it's the seventh house. You want to mm -hmm. focus on relationships and um, um, so with the seven of wands, I gotta say, with the queen of wands, there, you know, it could have been some having to defend yourself in mm -hmm. some way, um, and then with the hanging man, mm -hmm. this is like in this position. You would have had this something caused conflict, and then you took time out. So here's mm -hmm. what I'm going to go with this. This could be the case where a relationship broke up, okay? Uh, okay. and then the Libra took some time out, thought about it, mm -hmm. and maybe the other person came in and offered their cup, said, "Hey, I've been thinking about you." We did just in. Well, we're still in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde, so. Mm -hmm. The last couple of weeks, you know, we've been dealing with, that's a classic time for people to come in from the past. So if this is your story, uh, you'll know um, you you were open to it. And with the Queen of Wands, I think what this is saying is go for it. And uh, But this is, this is the trick with Libras, is it's the opposite of Aries. And this is kind of like going to be your Aries energy. So... Um, this time around with this person, well, I think what this is saying is don't lose yourself in them. Don't lose mm -hmm. yourself in them. Mm -hmm. Express yourself. The Queen of Wands is, is confident and outgoing and not afraid. I mean, she doesn't, Queen of Wands doesn't worry about how she looks in her outfit. She's just concerned about, like, are you good enough for her? Are you going to help my kingdom? More or less, what can you do for me? So you want to adopt a little bit of that energy, which is good for Libra anyway. I mean, obviously, we don't want to be selfish and just say, I screwed the other person. It's all about me. But I think, like, in this relationship, if you don't want to end up back in the seven of wands, it's going to mean you're going to have to more assert yourself this time and be yourself and and not be kind of submissive. Sí, stay in control of yourself, no? Yeah. The thing that you want, the... Values, what is the word? Values. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I like that. I don't like that. I'm, yes. I agree with this thing. Core values. Never uh -huh. sacrifice your core values. What are core values? I believe in justice. I believe in you know equality. Uh, 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 I believe in God. I don't believe in God. Uh, that kind of thing. Okay. I'm so gonna, yeah. I hope you like it. Now we're going to do Scorpio. <laughs> the morning weekly. Yeah. Scorpios. For a Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Scorpio. Your favorite. In the name of light and love to serves the greatest good. What can we say for our Scorpio friends? Oops. I hate it when that happens. But it does. Uh, we finally got somebody joining us at the pool. I like how nice and quiet it is out here in the morning. It's like a party town here in the, at night. Uh, I'm not a party animal anymore. In the morning, they're all sleeping, sleeping it off, so it's quiet. Love it. Okay. Scorpio is all we got here. Light and love. Serves the greatest good. What can we say it's helpful? Scorpio friends. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. Okay, having a little trouble with the lighting here, so I'm going to hold these up. A hermit coming out of one position. This is kind of how you are in relationships right now. 
I've all been there, done that for long times. Um, now you're showing up as the King of Pentacles. Okay. Well, um, you discovered yourself during your hermiting phase and discovered that you are strong and in command and a Queen of Swords coming up here in the future. Wow, uh, Scorpio with the Queen, two Queens and a King. Wow, in the Virgo card, the Hermit. You are, um, I think of what the advice would be here. Wow, I think this is for Scorpio. You're, you're on to something. If this is a, a relationship reading. Um, but I don't know. I don't see a lot of passion here. Um, I see you're really in your power. You, you've gone inside and found yourself and you've come out uh, feeling very strong and secure. And then with the Queen of Swords, um, I'm trying to decide if that's your other person or not. Because you could handle a Queen of Swords. They would be a good match for you, it looks like. And a Queen of Swords is what? It could be an Arab woman, but it's going to be a woman who's very also strong and standing in her power and not afraid to speak her mind. And she's not going to be a Libra and hold back because she doesn't want to hurt your feelings. If she feels like it needs to be said, she's going to say it. Um, and I think this is who you might be dealing with here. But it's almost like... Um, I get the feeling like it's like a standoff, like uh, you're, you're kind of looking at this person, but you're not jumping in, um, but you're interested, um, but you're you're looking at it kind of critically. Uh -huh. And let's see, let me clarify this. Yeah, seven of swords, seven of wands. So um, I don't see this so much as being defensive, um, but when you're approaching this new person, um, you got you do have your guard up and you're ready you know um to tackle it take it on uh, i think is what that is uh he's, he's righteously defending his kingdom there his castle um so yeah it's like a, a kind of a, i just feel it it's like a tension here with mm -hmm. this is scorpio um, so i don't know what to say for advice um maybe lighten up a little bit. I mean, if you're interested enough in him to to go this far, to take some interest in him, maybe um, the advice would be give, open up. You're strong. You can handle it. They're, they can't hurt you. Even this queen, the queen of swords, which could normally hurt you, she's not really looking at you with malintent or anything. Spider. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, thank you, babe. Um, so there's nothing here really for you to fear, you know? Maybe just try to be a little, a little more open and um, forthcoming, maybe with them, because um, I don't see any reason for you not to. That's Scorpio, so Sagittario. Okay, now we're going to do the morning weekly for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, friends, and light and love, so it serves our greatest good. What kind of advice can we get uh, for love? There's a shuffling. I'm gonna like take a shuffling course. So I'm gonna be able to do it faster. For me, the cards are very big. Yeah, yes, they are very big too. Yeah, they're funky. Okay. the universe wants to say to Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Page of Swords, the Empress, and the Two of Wands. And the energy of the readings is the Tree of Pentacles. So someone's been doing work. Yeah. I see someone is doing work. Okay, 
this is interesting. Um, I kind of see this as a somebody coming in a page of swords with a message, mm -hmm. and um, this is that kind of message where you you get it like on a text classic nowadays, and mm -hmm. uh, they're interested in you, and. Um, this would be kind of like that energy, like you you know it's a romantic interest, but maybe it isn't exactly said that way. But they clear make it clear that they want to engage with you, like a conversation, mm -hmm. you know. And then with the Empress here, um, this would be a Sagittarius uh, who's again very very much in their power, um, abundant, uh, strong. Um, and coming up against a page of swords, it would be, this would imply to me that to someone approached you, Sagittarius, who possibly is younger than you, but doesn't have the same energy that you have. Like, uh, I don't know how to say this, you're um, bigger than they are, you're stronger than they are. Uh, in some sense, you, it, it may not even be just age, uh, just uh, you, you're a, a more substantial person than they are so that's kind of some energy and then i see it with the two of wands um it seems like you want to make a choice mm -hmm. you know and maybe what you're trying to figure out is do you want to like engage this person that um because you, it looked you, like he was being